Hey, what's going on guys? My name is CarQ and welcome to the Predator Training Room. Overwatch is a unique FPS game in which you can switch to any of the 28 heroes in the game at any time in order to counter your opponents or synergize with your teammates. However, figuring out when to make that switch is sometimes a tough call, so this segment will aim to make that decision a little bit easier for you. Let's get started. When your team is winning, you're rolling. Every hero in the team comp is contributing and you're on your way to a victory. But what should you do when your team is failing every push and the hero that you're playing just isn't getting any value? To start off the process of making the most strategic hero swap for your team, you just need to take a step back and ask yourself a few questions. Now, the 2-2-2 two, two, two comp of 2 DPS, 2 tanks, and 2 support heroes is a strong balanced team composition that is a relatively safe delegation of roles in any given game. The moment you deviate away from this and run something like a triple or quad tank comp, triple or quad support, triple or quad or even straight up 6 DPS heroes, you may run into some issues if the first few pushes fail. To be fair, there are legitimate strategies in running odd comps like this, but the execution is often poor in most of your quick play or competitive matches and are often reserved for higher ranked players or for organized teams. So the first question you can ask yourself is, do you need more damage? This one's rare, as most of your games I can almost always assume that you have an auto DPS lock-in, but yes, sometimes you can really find yourself in situations where the enemies just aren't dying and you can't deal enough damage to confirm any kills. This one's pretty simple, just consider switching to a strong DPS duo such as Hanzo and Farah to offset this issue as soon as possible. This leads nicely into the second part. Do you need more healing? This problem usually arises under two conditions. 1. You're running one support character, or 2. You are running two support characters, but they're both secondary supports. Now very quickly, the Overwatch community often breaks down the support category into two subcategories, primary supports and secondary slash utility supports. Primary supports are defined by being heroes that can heal large amounts of health very quickly, and primarily build their ultimate charge by healing. This would include heroes like Mercy, Anna, and Mora. Secondary or utility supports are Lucio, Zenyatta, and Brigitte, as a ton of their ultimate charge is built on dealing damage and providing unique utility from their ability kit. While both running a solo healer or two secondary healers can be a tactical strategy in higher ranks and organized play, generally speaking, there isn't enough sustain on your team and you likely can't take advantage of the extra flex hero in Scenario 1 and can't capitalize on the utility in Scenario 2. The safest options are to swap to one primary healer and one secondary healer, Examples being Mercy Zen, Mercy Brig, Anna Zen, Mora Lucio, etc. This gives you a fine balance between big primary heals while keeping the utility of the secondary supports, such as defensive ultimates, and stopping them from cannibalizing each other's ultimate charge. Running two primary healers is actually quite detrimental for your ultimate economy, since both heavily rely on healing to build their ults and will quote-unquote steal the resource away from each other, whereas having one of the primary healers and substituting them out for a secondary allows them to build their ultimates by dishing out big damage, such as Zenyatta. Now the next question you can ask yourself to help you decide if you need to swap heroes is what is your win condition? A win condition in Overwatch, simply put, is taking a calculated look at your team composition, the enemy's team composition, the map, and how you're going to win the round or match. In terms of your team, are you running heroes with good synergy as a win condition? Heroes that synergize well often have abilities that can set up or complement each other. If your team is running Orisa and you're on Winston, you may want to consider switching into another tank that flows better with each other. For example, switching to Roadhog to complement your Orisa is a fantastic hero switching choice because they are both great for comboing Halt into Hook to secure picks. Another example is if your team is running Azaria, with a win condition of being a full enemy team wipe. In order to capitalize on this, you need some sort of DPS ultimate that can combo with their Graviton Surge. So let's say you're on Torbjorn, his Molten Core ability is nowhere near as effective as perhaps switching to Hanzo for his Dragon Strike to synergize with that Graviton. Now if we take it a step further, although the win condition in this example is the Zarya team wipe, another part of identifying win conditions also requires you to assess what the enemy team is running. If they're running a Zenyatta with a Transcendence to counter this hanzo Zarya combo, you call out to your team that you need an additional hero switch, this time being Anna to make use of her biotic grenade in the specific push where your combo is ready. You're basically trying to counter their counter. On the topic of win conditions, instead of looking at your own, what is the enemy's win condition and who can you swap to? Imagine this scenario, your Zenyatta doesn't have his transcendence ready and the enemy has the Zarya Hanzo Graviton Strike combo and the game is about to reach overtime on King of the Hill. Your original counter again was the transcendence but he's only at 20% ultimate charge. Oh no, what should you do? 
In situations like this where it's do or die, the enemy team is going to win the map with this combo for sure, you can definitely deviate away from your standard team comp to pick something that can be extremely useful for this one specific situation and moment. And that's where someone like D.Va to potentially Matrix out of the grab or the Hanzo Dragon Strike can potentially save your team and the game. A continuation of this do or die situation is the question of do you need to stall? Again, if time is running out in the round and your team is trying their best to run the clock down but is at a significant disadvantage, switching to a hero that has good survivability and mobility can stall the clock and survive long enough for the rest of your teammates to respawn and make it back to the point to fight again. The most optimal choices in this situation are heroes like Tracer, Lucio, Mei, D.Va, Winston, Doomfist, and Sombra. And now, the final few questions you can ask yourself, are you being countered or playing poorly? For example, an enemy can have a player who is absolutely dominating on a specific hero and identifying that they are the biggest reason as to why they are winning is the first step in making the appropriate hero swap. An easy example is an enemy Farah that is completely steamrolling your team because you're on Junkrat, who arguably doesn't have the reliable range to deal with her, making her a great counter DPS to you. It's important to recognize that you're not getting the same value out of your hero compared to the enemy hero on the same role. And even if you're a great Junkrat player, their Farah is doing too much for their team and switching to a strong hitscan hero such as Widow or McCree can improve your team's chance of winning. One last important hero swapping tip is that there is no shame in losing your ultimate or ultimate charge. A lot of people fall into the trap of saying, let me use my ultimate first, then I'll switch. And I can guarantee 9 times out of 10, they inevitably end up dying and cannot find the opportunity to use it. It happens, just forget about your ultimate and switch, because sometimes your ultimate just won't work based on the map layout and what the enemy team is running. In any case, that's it for this segment. I hope you guys learned something. I'm Karki with the Predator Training Room. Until next time.